So this is gonna be a quick recording in regards to the SMT divergence that I mentioned on the group uh, between Euro USD and uh, dollar index. So I decided to illustrate it or actually record uh, a short explanation video so that uh, for those of you who, who struggled to pick up the, the divergence, you can easily identifying it uh, after this recording so I did mention that uh, take note of the daily SMT divergence on uh, euro USD and dollar index so we're gonna go to the to the chart right so I did see this on the daily chart that was on Thursday where we had uh, the law of uh, we are on dollar right now the law of the 4th of uh, August was not traded through right you can see right here price did not trade through the law of august the fourth and that law was coming in at uh, 101.510 right with that in mind at the same time if we go to euro usd right i'm gonna switch i want to do this uh properly if we go to Euro USD, you can see here the high of uh, August the fourth on Euro USD was traded through, right? Meaning uh, buy stops above the high of August the fourth were traded through, and that high was coming in at one point ten four one two, right? With that in mind, right? When you see that kind of a market structure. What is it that you have to, to know? What is it that you have to anticipate, right? At the time when Euro USD was creating a new high, dollar was failing to create a new low. This goes back to us implementing macro analysis, looking at the market structure, right? Whereby we've got one asset uh, accumulating for buy models and one asset uh, distributing for sale models right so we're seeing uh, euro usd distributing for sale model where was it distributing remember a market uh, which is in a downtrend redistribute okay sorry about that uh, so i was saying a market which is in a bearish uh, momentum a market showing us uh, a downtrend redistributes in fair value so with that in mind you can see that euro usd on thursday redistributed in fair value price just took out the stops above uh, 4th of uh, august above 31st of july above 28th of July and it was trading into a premium array in this case which was a bearish order block and price dropped so euro usd created a new high at a time when uh, dollar index failed to create a new law so dollar index was reaccumulating now right this is now accumulation for buy models right and you can see the end result the following day uh, dollar index just reaccumulated and it went to the upside same applies on this day here thursday price reaccumulated we would have loved to see dollar also taking the stops the sell stops below the 4th of august but that did not happen 
this was at the time of the release of uh, producer price index right so after seeing that kind of a price action on thursday friday would have been a definite uh long day uh, for dollar and short day for euro meaning you'd have had a bearish close on euro usd and a bullish close on uh, dollar index so with that in mind what does this tell us in regards to the forecast for next week right so upcoming next week right you anticipate this uh this divergence to have an effect uh going forward into the coming week so this is where now you have to define your targets right so for next week there's nothing wrong in being a dollar bull right because the market structure is there it's telling you that bulls might uh take uh control of price on dollar index if that is the case the old high coming in at from the 6th of uh, july july old high coming in at 6th of july right this high here what uh, what kind of liquidity rest above we've got buy stops so chances are very high that in the coming week we are going to see the buy stops above july 6th being traded through now is there gonna be any catalyst is there anything on the calendar that can push price towards that price point of 103 two double six that's the high here 103 uh the high is coming in at 103 270 we're just gonna round it off to an institutional price point 103 270 this is where you now go to the calendar right you go to your calendar and then you check one thing i know for sure is we've got retail sales i think tuesday yeah we've got retail sales on uh, on tuesday all right so next week so we're looking at today's the 13th uh this week here starting on tuesday uh tomorrow is monday what do we have on monday let's see if there's anything on the calendar that can move price uh towards say our target of dollar heading to the upside okay no scheduled events so we've got tuesday tuesday we've got quite a few fundamentals but the main ones that are coming in at half past two for the dollar are the retail sales right so you expect dollar to react to that and then wednesday we've got uh, fomc meeting minutes you see those are all fundamentals that can push price to the upside that is if they are positive for the dollar we also have philly fed manufacturing index philly fed employment you see those are all uh, times now that you have to take note of where dollar is trading at during the release of those fundamentals remember time and price so with that in mind i'm gonna switch again back to euro right so we had euro taking out uh buy stops above or high trading into fair value for shorting opportunities and market went to the downside there is the down close day on friday for euro so now if we are gonna be hunting for longs on dollar we surely should be targeting old laws on uh, on euro usd right we'll be targeting old laws or we'll be targeting price to reach discount before it finds any support right we've got here this is our discount array so we've got one bullish order block we've got an old law we still have fair value here you see fair value gap here in balance you see uh we've got imbalance right there you see so expect the price to fill up that imbalance trading into the order block 
you see there's quite a huge amount of pips to the downside on euro usd so what i was just trying to explain to you guys is the smt divergence you see euro creating a new high at a time when dollar was failing to create a new low right so when we go to h4 on uh, euro usd this is where now you have to define your entry areas right so you can see there we've got an h4 bearish order block you see the emphasis of market wanting to go to the downside is being shown here right you can see that this is the high of uh, thursday price traded into premium and it dropped to the downside so same applies you already have uh, these two bearish order blocks You're expecting price to trade into this level here and find a bit of resistance and drop to the downside targeting the old low same applies if we go to dollar right if we go to dollar index we go to h4 let me zoom out to dollar index you see we've got a bullish order block right here right that's number one we also have another bullish order block right there but in between those two order blocks you can see we've got fair value gap right there right this order block is high probability because it's accompanied by a fair value gap you see and that gap still remains this is where you grab your fibs right recent expansion price expansion look where optimum at optimum trade entry is 101.94 right 101.94 will be an ideal area for you to take your long opportunities targeting right 102.75 102.75 will be your initial target if there is a retracement to the downside 102.75 is your initial target and ultimately you're talking of 103.67 103.67 if we go to euro usd we grab our fibs the recent price swing low to high see this is us now hunting for shorting opportunities and you can see here optimum trade entry right above 1.10285 right 1.10285 if you are a scalper you can use this expansion here you see that expansion you can see where optimum entry is coming in at 1.0986 so yeah this is what i just wanted to clarify and show you guys that yeah we could be seeing uh further moves to the upside uh on dollar and further moves to the downside on euro usd based on that smt divergence that we have seen from last week so yeah that's uh that's pretty much about it what i wanted to explain to you guys and for for those who want further resource in regards to this you can refer to implementing macro analysis or week one institutional sponsorship videos they will explain much much better so yeah that's just a small tutorial that i thought i should put up there for you guys and uh, so that you've got something to work with heading into the new week i wish you guys good luck and happy trading thank you